Okay, first you need the appropriate gear. Shirt, pants, shorts if it's hot. You don't want to destroy anything you like. Okay, first thing that came off was the seat. Uh, relatively easy, right under the rear cowl. There's two latches, one on either side. Pull them both at the same time, seat pops right off. Okay, next off the gas tank. Um, turn your pet cock from the on position at the top to the off position. Um, there's a vacuum line that you need to disconnect from your carburetor. And then you disconnect the fuel line um, that goes to your carburetor um, from the top of the pet cock right here. Um, and then there's two bolts on either side of the gas tank at the top, um, right there near the steering head. And then there's one more bolt that gets disconnected um, right here where the top of your seat was. Then it pops right off. Next off, the left crankcase cover. Um, first you remove, uh, you take out the bolt for your shifter and then you pull the shifter off. Um, and then there's five bolts. One, two, three, four, and five that you take off the crank crankcase and then it uh, it pulls right off. Okay, decks come off. Um, I've already loosened a lot of the, these things as, as you'll see, but we want to get our spark plug wire off. Um, we want to take our spark plugs um, out. Um, can't see the hole in there, not getting good light. Um, there it is. Um, and then on the right side of your bike, there's a breather tube um, connected to your uh, cam cover right there. Um, so you want to, there's actually a little clamp on there. Um, see that clamp? Just squeeze it together, pull it back, and then that comes right off. Once your uh, cam breather tube is disconnected on the other side of the bike uh, that I showed you, um, there's two bolts, one on either side. Um, you take those off and um, then um, to actually get the cam cover off, there's a nice little sweet spot right here where you can stick a screwdriver in and just turn it and it just pops the cam cover right up. Do that on all four corners like that. Of course I've already done it um, but it came off really cleanly um, and then you just lift it up and pull it forward like that and then you take it out on the right side of your bike on the breather tooth side and uh, that just comes right out just like that. Okay, so here you have it. Got the cam cover off. Um, here are the, uh, the intake valves are towards um, the rear of the bike. Um, here's the two um, lifters for the intake uh, valves and then you have one exhaust valve and that is towards the front of the bike um, towards the uh, exhaust pipe um, and then you've got your there's your cam chain there and you, if you look real close you can see uh, the cam in there um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna work on the left first left side first and so what we want to do is we want to get all the valves closed um, the way we do that um, the way we can tell is that all the valves are closed 
if all the lifters um, are loose and our lifter for the exhaust and intake are not loose they're real tight so that means that we're um, we need to get all those closed so we need to what we need to do is we need to rotate the alternator bolt um, it has an indicator right there on the alternator that you rotate counterclockwise and then there's a T that's just off top dead center there so we're going to rotate it around until it hits uh, lines up with this tab here and then we will have all the valves closed on the left um, head here so it's, it's really easy to crank this around and as you're cranking it you can see the cam chain moving and you can also see the lifters for the left side starting to move um, so we're coming around here and right there we're at top dead center uh, so you can see that it's lined up okay and then so the point being now when I move the exhaust lifter, lifter you can hear that it's now loose and for the intake valves can't hear it quite as much but they're also loose so that's what we want so we have all the valves closed now on on the left head here and so now we can get our filler gauge okay so here's my feeler gauges and the specs on this um, on this motor is for the intake um, valves the the clearance is from three to five thousandths and for the exhaust um, valve it's five to six thousandths so I've got my three my four my five and my six thousand feeler gauge which I'm going to use to to test the clearance um, so first I'm going to do um, uh, an intake valve and if you look down in here um, you can see there's a little space right below the lifter you stick the feeler gauge in there I'm using the three thousandths now that's kind of loose so I'm going to try the four the four is perfect so this valve doesn't need to be adjusted it's it's set properly I've already uh, checked out this intake valve and it's good also it's about maybe like three and a half thousand so it's good so now I'm going to check the exhaust valve over here it's five to six so I get my five thousandths lifter sometimes you have to lift these up a little bit that one's up I'm sticking that in there that's real loose and I'm going to stick my six in that's also pretty loose and so I've actually um, ahead of time stuck uh, several different um, feeler gauges in on that one and it felt good this is my 10 here so this is um, 10 thousandths I stick that in it goes in and it feels nice and tight so that one's that one's going to need to be adjusted by about four thousandths um, so next we'll we'll do that okay so this is the um, exhaust valve um, that is loose so we need to we need to tighten it up a couple thousands um, so the way we do that is there's a little lock nut on the top of the lifter here so you take a wrench and you loosen that like that and then just loosen it like that and then right here is a um, a set screw where you or an adjustment screw for adjusting the clearance so it's gonna be it needs to be from five to six thousandths 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 5 thousandths filler gauge and lift it, make sure it's lifted up. Stick my filler gauge in there. Okay, and then I'm going to just turn this little set screw. Keep turning it slowly until I start to get some resistance. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm turning it the wrong way. <laughs> Turn it the other way until I start getting resistance. Clockwise to, to tighten it and counterclockwise to loosen it, of course. Okay, so I've got resistance that's a little bit too tight. I'm going to back it up until I can pull it out. Okay, right there I can pull it out. So that should be all set, but just to check it. I'm going to stick in the um, the number six. I can find it here, right here. Make sure that that won't go in. It goes in, but it's very tight, so that's good. So we're all set. And then the last thing you do is make sure you hold the set screw so it doesn't turn as you're turning the lock nut. Turn it with your fingers first. Until it's set, take your wrench. Tighten it. And then lastly, stick the feeler gauge in the last time to make sure it didn't move. Here's my five. And we're good. So do that to all, all the rest of the valves. You'll be all set. Thanks. And that's a valve adjustment on a 1986 CB450. Good luck.